Okay, so if you're here right now, that's because your deck is also very sad and broken, like mine. I thought my deck was going to be a goner, and I'd have to replace the whole thing. But I was wrong, because there's ways you can fix it and make it just as good as it ever used to be. And I'm going to show you the steps I took to make my deck not suck anymore. Repair it. Bring it back to life. That's what I did, and it worked out great. And you can do it too, because it's not as hard as you might think. With a little time and effort, you can take your deck and turn it from an embarrassment back into the fun place to hang out that it was always meant to be. Alright, so the first step I took in my deck revitalization was to power wash the whole deck. At first you've seen there was a Troy built power washer. Uh, the thing is dead to me because it doesn't start and I've seen that you know online a lot of people have the same issue with that specific power washer so make sure you have something that runs good and you know while not completely necessary to power wash your deck um, if it's as weathered as mine was it's definitely it definitely helps as you can see from just this picture alone this is one pass with the power washer uh, on the bottom and the top is it you know I have one over yet and you can just see how different um, the deck was after I power washed it So after my extensive battle with the Troy Belt Power Washer, I ended up using a Ryobi Power Washer, and I've never used a Ryobi Power Washer before, but it worked great. It started, which is important. The nozzle that I used to clean my deck was, I used a 40 degree. Uh, just make sure you're careful because with the wood being as old as it is, if you get too close, the power washer is going to power wash right through your wood. The Ryobi Power Washer was a 3100 PSI model. The next step for me was to use an all-in-wood wood cleaner. So this wood cleaner I got from Home Depot it is a Bear Premium product, and it cleans, brightens, removes mold, mildew, rust stains, mill glaze, and tannin bleed, and it worked out great for my deck. Uh, the sprayer I got from Amazon, it was like six dollars, and I'll, I'll link that below because it worked great. If you need a cheap sprayer, you don't have one, just spray your deck down with this cleaner. And to do my deck, I needed two gallons of this cleaner, which is two bottles. So after the cleaner sets for 10 to 15 minutes, the next instruction on the bottle says to brush your deck with a stiff bristled broom. And this helps just kind of remove all the junk that's built up on your deck over time. And you'll see that, you know, just after letting it sit for the 10 to 15 minutes, your deck starts, to, you can see it getting brighter. So after you fully enjoyed brushing your entire deck, uh, afterwards you're gonna need to rinse off all your cleaner. And this is somewhere else that having a power washer you know, helps out because it just speeds up the process. So if you don't have one, you can use a hose. And you might notice that it did rain the entire day that I was doing this, which didn't hurt anything. Everything worked out fine. It wasn't like a torrential downpour, so it didn't wash the cleaner off, and I didn't have any issues. But, you know, it would have been better if it was sunny because it wouldn't have sucked so bad. And bam! This is what it looks like right after I got done rinsing everything off. So the deck's still wet, but you can see that it's night and day difference between you know, how the boards and the deck looked before and after. And if you have, you know, on my deck I got lights mounted on the railing. So if you have those as well, just be careful when you're power washing not to, you know, blow too much water at them. I was pretty cautious about them when I was when I was doing my deck and afterwards. They, everything still worked great, so just be cautious that they're there. Another thing you need to consider also is your vegetation around your deck. So anything you don't want dead, make sure you water it down. And here's the final product. This is after the deck has had some time to dry. So I did replace the deck rail caps. Well, okay, my, my dad replaced the deck rail caps. I just kind of carried stuff. But they were pretty weathered because they were on top and they're always in the sun. I mean, they would have looked fine if we would finished them in the end. But we had the wood. So replacing the deck rail caps actually really, really helped out a lot when it came to the appearance of the deck. It almost looks brand new now. Other than that, it was just replacing some screws, adding some screws where the deck was, you know, wobbly and fixing some of the tread on the stairs to give it some more structural support. So again, thank you for watching, and if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.